In today's episode, I'm going to show you how to improve your memory to increase your productivity. So let's get started. Perspective plans with new videos and podcasts weekly. Join our Patreon at patreon.com forward slash perspective plans for exclusive videos and more. Visit perspectiveplans.com for all of your planner and stationary needs. Only at Perspective Plans, helping you plan for what's to come. Hello everyone, I'm Christina B. Rising and welcome to the Perspective Plan Show, where I help you boost your productivity and stay organized so that you can easily handle whatever life throws at you. I upload new videos and podcasts every single week, so be sure to subscribe so that you won't miss anything. Shop our workbooks, printables, and stickers at PerspectivePlans.com. And last but not least, this episode would not be possible without the support of our Perspective Plans patrons and channel members. Thank you. Now, let's get into this episode. Although our memories play a crucial role in who we are, memory loss occurs with aging. One of the major anxieties that individuals have as they age is that they won't be able to live independently, which is the case for many older persons whose deterioration is so severe. The good news is that research into the remarkable ability of the human brain to regenerate and form new sympathetic connections into old age continues. We refer to this idea as neuroplasticity. Scientists have shown that thanks to the study on neuroplasticity, human memory is pliable, much like plastic. You can take good care of your body and exercise your brain in order to fully benefit from neuroplasticity. Some of the best techniques for enhancing memory are included in these 25 tips and tricks. Tip one, smash an egg. Over time, opinions on eggs have shifted greatly. However, regardless of your preference for fried, scrambled, poached, boiled, or raw from a cup, you can be sure that eggs are full of nutrients that will benefit your brain. These nutrients include vitamins B6 and B12, folate and choline, which is essentially found in the yolks and helps with mood, which is especially found in the yolks and helps with mood and memory regulation. So relax. There is no denying their nutritional worth, no matter how you like them. They are a great source of nutrients that support your brain function. Eggs are a great complement to any diet that supports cognitive health. So go ahead and break an egg with confidence, knowing that you're not only enjoying a delicious meal, but also providing your brain with the nutrition it needs to function at its very best. Tip two, remain maintained. It's easier for someone who is organized to recall things. One useful tool for organizing is a checklist. Writing down your checklist by hand rather than using an electronic device also makes it more likely that you will recall what you've actually written down. The foundation of successful memory recall is maintaining order. It is simpler for those who follow organized procedures to remember knowledge when they need it. Especially as a useful tool in this respect are checklists. People who regularly write down their obligations and duties not only improve the efficiency of their work processes, but also provide physical reminders that help with their memory. Surprisingly, creating a checklist by hand rather than typing it on a computer improves your memory encoding even more. The printed words in the brain develop a stronger link as a result of this tactile interaction, increasing the likelihood that the information will remain. Therefore, people may improve their memory while keeping a feeling of order and control in their life by adopting organizing techniques like checklists and handwritten notes. Tip three, throw away the GPS. Dependency on the GPS for every drive is another prevalent error. In 2013, researchers discovered that depending on response methods like a GPS, for navigation causes the hippocampus, a region of the brain involved in spatial memory and short-term to long-term memory transfer, to shrink. Dementia and memory loss are linked to poor hippocampal health. Instead than merely following the directions on your GPS, consider using your intellect to get to your destination unless you are really getting lost. Use your head and your memory to return home after using your GPS to get there. You'll be grateful for the added challenge to your intellect. Tip four, use mnemonics, acronyms, and even abbreviations. Mnemonic devices might be rhymes, tunes, acronyms, or even abbreviations. Since the 1960s, mnemonics have been researched as a successful teaching method. It is likely that you've learned a few mnemonic strategies to help you recall lengthy lists. 
For instance, the acronym Roy G. Biv stands for red, orange, yellow, green, blue, indigo, and of course, violet. And you can check out these amazing colors in my hourly planner, and I'll link that down below. And you can find it at perspectiveplans.com. Shameless plug. And may be used to recall the colors of the spectrum. Using mnemonic devices such as songs, acronyms, and abbreviations may greatly improve memory recall and even retention. These memory tools have been used for many years and have shown to be beneficial in a variety of educational settings. Mnemonic devices provide an organized and methodical way to encode and retrieve knowledge. Whether you're attempting to memorize a list of objects, preparing for a test, or trying to recall complicated material. To help with alphabet memory, for example, the song Twinkle Twinkle Little Star is a potent technique that uses the brain's ability to recognize and associate patterns. Moreover, mnemonic devices may be included into regular activities and routines to enhance their engagement and enjoyment. People may turn ordinary jobs into unforgettable experiences by adding comedy and creativity to memory aids. Mnemonic devices provide a fun and participatory aspect to learning. Whether you're creating a catchy acronym for a to-do list or a silly song to help you remember crucial dates, adopting these innovative strategies improves learning efficiency and effectiveness while also improving memory retention, which eventually results in increased performance in the classroom and in the workspace. Tip five, maintain your schedule. An active routine helps preserve episodic memory in the brain. According to one research, having a busy schedule improves cognitive performance. Self-reporting, however, has limitations with this research. In addition to keeping the mind occupied, being active is essential for preserving and improving episodic memory. Contrary to popular belief, research indicates that having a busy schedule does not always result in forgetfulness or even overload. An active lifestyle has been shown to boost memory recall. One piece of research even links hectic schedules to greater cognitive performance. But it's important to recognize the limits of these kinds of research, especially when using self-reported data. That being said, there is still clear evidence linking mental activity to memory function. A variety of activities such as hobbies, socializing, and taking on work-related difficulties stimulate the brain continuously and maintain its flexibility. By adopting a busy but rewarding lifestyle, people may develop their episodic memory while enjoying dynamic and intellectually interesting lives. If you have tried bullet journaling, time blocking, or just plain old to-do lists but haven't found the right solution to manage your time, then it's time to try out the Hourly Planner Bundle. This is the ultimate planner with everything you need to manage your schedule and get things done today. Featuring 300 plus planner pages with and without sidebars, 100 plus event and holiday labels, and over 2,000 plus planner stickers in 14 unique colors. All this and more can be found in our hourly planner bundle, available in two amazing color options at perspectiveplans.com. Paperback edition, now available at Amazon. Helping you plan for what's to come. Tip six, continuous repetition. Every time you learn anything new, if it's repeated in your mind, you are more likely to retain it. The connections we make between neurons are strengthened by repetition. Say out what you've heard. Put it to use in a sentence, put it in writing, and read it out loud. However, the effort is not over yet. Simple repetition alone is not a useful learning strategy, according to research. Later, when you have more time, you'll need to take another seat and make an effort to find the material again without consulting your notes. It is preferable to test your knowledge on your own rather than studying repeatedly. Retrieval practice results in more significant and long-lasting learning opportunities. Create a budget that works for you and track your debt, monthly bills, savings, expenses, cash envelopes, sinking funds, savings challenges, and more. This budget planner is perfect to take control of your finances even if you are a beginner and just started your financial journey. Featuring 200 plus 
planner pages with and without sidebars, over 1,500 planner stickers in 14 unique colors, and 50 plus quote layering stickers that allow you to customize the background to match your planner style. All this and more can be found in the Budget Planner Bundle, available in two amazing color options at PerspectivePlans.com. Paperback Edition, now available at Amazon. Helping you plan for what's to come. Tip 7. Refrain from using Google immediately. Although there is a use of modern technology, it has sadly rendered humans mentally lazy. And likely how you found this very episode, thanks for watching by the way, and listening. But be sure to subscribe so that you won't miss any other episodes. But try your hardest to find the knowledge in your head before reaching for your phone to ask Siri or Google. The neuronal networks in your brain are strengthened by this process. Avoid the temptation to depend entirely on search engines. Since your brain's capacity to remember information might be weakened by the frequent use of them. Rather, push yourself to find information on your own, which will improve cognitive abilities and even your comprehension. This procedure develops independent thought and even intellectual curiosity, turning the learning process into a fulfilling investigation. Refusing instantaneous digital aid trains your mind to solve problems and retain information better, which improves your learning process in the long run. Tip 8. Discover something new. Muscular strength and memory strength are similar. It becomes stronger the more you use it. However, you cannot expect to develop stronger by lifting the same weight every single day. Your brain will need to be continuously stimulated. Acquiring new abilities is a great method to improve your memory in the brain. There are many things to do, but the most crucial thing is to pick something that pulls you out of your comfort zone. There are many things to do, but the most crucial thing is to pick something that pulls you out of your comfort zone and requires all of your focus. Here are a few instances. Pick up a new instrument, create ceramics, engage in mental games such as chess or even Sudoku, take up a new dance class such as tango, and try picking up a new language if you can. Tip 9. Make use of every sense possible. Memory experts also use the strategy of using more than one sense to aid in knowledge retention. Rather, they connect information to other senses such as taste, sense, and even colors. Adding to the idea of using several senses to help with memory recall is similar to weaving a complex web of sensory experiences that are woven together with the information being processed. Using all of the senses makes memories more complex and vivid, creating strong brain connections that improve memory. Consider connecting the aroma of new rain with a scientific idea or the flavor of a ripe strawberry with a historical occasion. In addition to making learning more pleasurable, these multi-sensory connections build a network of linked memories that are more resistant to forgetting. All in all, memory experts create a rich tapestry of information that remains in the mind long after the first interaction by using the whole range of sensory input. Tip 10. Knowledge in group or chunk form. The technique of breaking up recently learned material into smaller ones, more manageable bits, is known as grouping or even chunking. For instance, you may have observed that breaking up a phone number into three distinct pieces like 555-637-8229 as opposed to the lengthy number 555-637-8299 makes it much simpler to remember. And here's our bonus tip if you made it this far into the episode. Build a mind palace. Memory champions commonly employ the mind palace approach. Using this age-old method, you build a complicated and visually appealing space to preserve a collection of memories. Watch Joshua Ford's TED Talk for further guidance on building memory palaces, the 2006 U.S. Memory Champion. It's highly insightful and definitely worth a watch if you have the time. Share this awesome episode with someone you know who needs it to help them plan for what's to come. And don't forget to like and subscribe. I hate for you to miss the next episode. Now let's get into our recap. So let's do a quick recap just in case you missed a tip on our list. Tip one, remain, maintain. Tip two, smash an egg. Tip three, throw away the GPS. Tip four, use mnemonics, acronyms, and even abbreviations. Tip five, maintain your schedule. 
Tip six, continuous repetition. Tip seven, refrain from using Google immediately. Eight, discover something new. Tip nine, make use of every sense possible. Tip 10, knowledge in group or chunk form. And our bonus tip, build a mind palace. Productivity is being able to do things that you never were able to do before. Franz Kafka. I just want to take a moment to thank our patrons and channel members. This episode would not be possible without your support. Thank you. And if you would like to support the show, visit patreon.com forward slash perspective plans today. Thank you so much for stopping by and pressing play. I truly appreciate it. Let me know down below in the comments or your podcast review what tip you'll be using. Keep planning for what's to come and I'll see you in the next episode. Bye.